Hello Horizontal Lovers. I am back in the place where I did my very first video. The Jungle Fish Hotel and Pool. My happy place on a Monday morning in Ubud, Bali. I went to the cacao manifestation ceremony again last night and it was it was torrentially downpouring, but luckily I am prepared. I have two ponchos. I, I have an umbrella. My helmet is very protective. I get to flip the visor up. And so I was determined because this is my favorite event that I've been to since I've been here. It feels so nourishing. And I knew that I needed to be there and that it's a beautiful anchor in my week. So I set off and it's actually quite close to my new home. And I Made it there, made it back in the dark. Very proud of myself, a new route, a new way. And later on, Luciana, who runs the manifestation ceremony, said that about two or three of the musicians who were planning to come last night didn't come because of the rain. And I was thinking about how I've used the principles of the unconference. And I've never been to an unconference. But I have learned these principles from my friend Matthew Stillman, who was a beautiful guest of the podcast. If you haven't listened to his episodes, they are heartbreaking in the most marvelous way, and I suggest you listen to them. Matthew Stillman. So, Matthew Stillman told me about the Unconference. Or, no, it wasn't Matthew, but Matthew had run one, I think, in his past. Anyway, <laughs> the unconference. I am guilty of wishing it were otherwise, wishing so and so were here, wishing that uh, we'd started on time, wishing that so and so wasn't here. <laughs> and so I've been using these principles to be with what is and celebrate what is. Also, I would like you to see my bikini. Oh. <laughs> well, now you're really seeing it. There we go. A little selfie stick um, cinematography for you. <laughs> so, the first principle of the unconference is whoever shows up are the right people. So, that screaming little girl, she's the right person. She's, she's, she's here and she's the right people to be here at this moment in time when I am here at the Jungle Fish. <laughs> Whoever shows up are the right people. And that's, I think, a really hard one to practice, especially when somebody that you wanted to come is there, somebody you thought was gonna be there, somebody who said they were coming and you were so excited, somebody who you really wanna show, for me when I'm facilitating, somebody who I really wanna show my stuff to and they don't show up, that feels like, oh, oh, I wish. Right, so whoever shows up are the right people. These are the people who are here in this moment in time with you. <laughs> wow, I'm losing my train of thought. Whoever shows up are the right people. Wherever it happens is the right place. So maybe you couldn't get the booth you wanted. Maybe you couldn't get into the spot, maybe. You know, you wished you had a more picturesque location, <laughs> but you don't have one. Wherever it happens is the right place, because that is where it's happening right now. Whoever shows up are the right people. Wherever, wherever it happens is the right place. Whenever it starts is the right time. And that's a tricky one, right? Like you maybe want to start on time or maybe you are lazy or maybe you are late and you're walking in feeling like a little bit oh, ashamed whenever it starts it's the right time this one is really interesting whatever happens is the only thing that could happen because I don't know about you but I spend a fair bit of time thinking uh, he could have spared me, or if only I just, uh, I wish I hadn't at that moment, I could have waited, I could have not stepped forward, I could have, whatever. 
So whatever happens is the only thing that could happen. And then it ends when it ends. Whoever shows up are the right people. Wherever it happens is the right place. It starts when it's the right time. I think I'm paraphrasing that one. I'll have to look that one up. Whatever happens is the only thing that could have. And it ends when it ends. We know when something ends. And we know when we're pushing it, right? To last longer. Oh, the sun comes up. Hello, sun. <laughs> We know when we're pushing it to last longer, we know when it's not, the, when it's ended and we're trying to continue. And we know when maybe it was supposed to end, but it's not the right time yet, actually. It's, we're not ready to, to conclude yet. So it ends when it ends. I think it's such a beautiful way to avoid the shoulds, the woulds, the could've. So why didn't I? Just gonna maybe show you a little pool. And I think it's time. Get it! Thank you for appreciating my selfie stick cinematography and my mermaid hair. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. This is day 18 of my 28 day video challenge. I am doing another live show Wednesday night at 10 p.m. on Get Vocal. I'm thinking that the topic will be something around passion and eroticism and maintaining it and intimacy and sexy times. So I think you'll want to tune in for this one, hey? Thank you. Love you from Bali.